Welcome. So what we have here is I want to graph a line that's perpendicular to the line y equals 5 and that goes to the point 3 comma 2. So to do this, we're going to talk about a couple things, but I would like to actually graph this first so we can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So y equals 5 is going to be up on the y-axis, so that's the x-axis, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember when we learned how to graph, uh, graph with a table, we could see that y equals 5 is going to produce a horizontal line. Now, I need to find an equation that's going to be perpendicular to it that goes to the point 3 comma 2, 1, 2, 3, up 2. All right. Now, there's a couple things that we need to discuss when we're looking at a line that's going to be perpendicular. We know that perpendicular lines have opposite slopes, right? But then also, they cross at what we call a 90 degree angle. Now, let's go and look back at this equation, first of all, to kind of, kind of digest, like, how are we going to find the opposite reciprocal slope? So this is in slope-intercept form, but it has a little bit uh, interesting information because I'm not seeing a slope initially. So I can write y equals mx plus b. Well, all I have is a positive 5, so what I can determine is that my slope is equal to um, mx plus 5. I can determine that my slope is going to be equal to 0. Now, 0, we, you know, we can write it, if we wanted to write it as a fraction, we could say 0 over 1x plus 5 because 0 divided by 1 is going to obviously be uh, 0. Now, when we look at positive and negative, 0 doesn't have a value as far as it being positive or it's negative. It has just a slope of 0. However, if I was going to just take a look at the reciprocal, I'd write this as y equals 1 over 0x plus um, plus b, right? Because we're not going to know what our new y-intercept is, but we do know that the slopes for perpendicular lines have to be reciprocals of each other. So if I look at the reciprocal of the slope for y equals 5, I automatically notice that I have a 0 in the bottom, which means I have an undefined slope. That doesn't mean I don't have a line. That just means my slope for my new line is going to be undefined. And the only types of lines that we talked about that have undefined slopes are vertical lines. So if I have this point and I want to draw a vertical line through there, you can see that I am going to create a 90 degree angle and an intersection um, at that 90 degree angle. Then also, since it goes to the point 3 comma 2, by, by setting the equation for this, I can just see that this vertical line has an equation of x equals 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find a perpendicular line from a horizontal line that goes through a point. Thanks.